This week on The Clinic, you met John Rogers. John and his wife moved to Phoenix to start a new life. They were getting to the point where it was hard to manage the horses and the Marlboro Man lifestyle no longer appealed. And they wanted to do something different. So they moved from Tucson to Phoenix. And like many, many people before them, when they got up here, they found out that all John's health problems followed them here. John has a condition called spinal stenosis. He's also dealing with normal pressure hydrocephalus, but today we're gonna to really focus on the spinal stenosis. Once you find out you have spinal stenosis or even when you suspect it, it's natural to wonder, well, is this serious? Yeah, spinal stenosis is deadly serious. In Ancient days, in the old days before modern surgery, people who lived long enough to get spinal stenosis developed urinary incontinence, weakness in their legs that prevented them from walking. Eventually, they were sequestered to bed where they died of urinary tract infection. Does that sound serious to you? It does to me. Spinal stenosis is deadly serious. To really understand this, we need to talk about two things, and the first is, just to give you a better understanding of what spinal stenosis really is. And then the second part is to think about what will happen if you don't treat it. Will it get better by itself? What's the natural history? So what is spinal stenosis? You know by now, stenosis is just a $10 doctor word for narrowing. Spinal narrowing, spinal stenosis is spinal narrowing. So what's the narrowing? Well, think about the spinal canal that's the place in the neck where the spinal cord is, in the thoracic, the spinal cord, in the lumbar, the nerve roots. Think about the spinal canal and what makes it up. If the spinal canal was a room, it would have a roof, a floor, and two walls. Let's start with the walls. The walls of the spinal canal are your facet joints. The facet joints, the joints of the spine, the joints that hold one level of the spine next to the other. Well, I mean, look at your knuckles. Have you noticed how they're getting bigger as you get older? Remember when you were a kid, these were not the knuckles that we had. Knuckles enlarge as we age. But in the case of the facet joints of the spine, those joints also enlarge. So as you age, the walls of your spinal canal are moving in to each other the walls are getting more narrow. Well, it gets worse than that. <laughs> so the roof is another important part of any room and the roof of the spinal canal is a ligament, which is, un it's just sort of the insulation above the ligament is the lamina bone. Well, the bone doesn't really get thicker as you age, but the ligament does. Ligaments get thicker as a natural response to stress so over time, every time you bent over, every time you twisted, all the times you moved, if you had a little excess movement at one level, then that movement is gonna long-term translate into thickening of the ligament. What does that mean for your spinal room? Your roof's coming down. Uh-oh, walls are coming together, roof's coming down. We're good, right? No, we've still got the floor. The floor of the spinal canal is the disc. And anybody got a bulging disc? Yeah, it's very common. So while our roof is coming down and our, roof and our walls are coming in, our floor is coming up. And the result is the room is way too narrow. There's two things I want you to notice about this whole process. The first is none of this stuff reverses naturally or with creams, injections, exercises. If your joints are too big and they're squishing your nerves and then you do some kind of movement, what good would that do? None. If you did a, the, a stretch exactly right, is that gonna help? No, that's magic thinking. The only thing that can make a small room bigger is surgery. And we'll, we'll talk about that more down the line. So the second thing is back to the original question, okay, if this is all happening, if the, wind, if the walls are coming in and the, the floor is rising up and the roof's coming down, then uh, how do I beat it? Well, you cannot beat it. Uh, the only way you beat it is by dying before it gets really bad. 
not a good option. So if you have spinal stenosis, it's a very serious condition and it does require treatment. Let's talk about that treatment. For more information on spinal stenosis, check out our website, phoenixspineandjoint.com, spine, spinal stenosis. There's video explanation that goes into greater detail about the causes, treatments, and details of spinal stenosis. Also, if you miss John and his wife on our YouTube channel, The Clinic, come check it out. It really helps to see what someone else is going through, to share their experience, and find out what's the next step for you if you have spinal stenosis. Thank you.